Hey, what's up, guys? Donnie from Big Drone Flyer 77. Yeah, I got some pretty cool today. Um, actually, it was sent to me. I got it yesterday, I believe, but uh, I'm showing it to you guys today. Uh, it's the Eshin. It's the E56. It's a pocket drone. Uh, this is courtesy of Eshin. So thank you guys for sending this. Uh, pretty neat little case it came with. Uh, so I wasn't expecting that. So I'm gonna open this up and show you guys what's inside. So we have the foldable drone right here and it has uh, the 720p camera so it does adjust down or up so um, so it does just fold it's got proprietary battery so that does just pop out pop in and out of there so just do that and you push that in and slide it forward and that locks it in there's a little button right here so you can press that and slide it back out so um, so it's pretty simple and with the arms, just click them out, you're ready to go there. Uh, this does have an app too, so um, I downloaded the app on my phone. So it does have an application, so um, you can fly it with your, with your phone. I'll probably do that on another time, but that's how, how also you record, because there's no SD card uh, slot on here, so you're going to record straight through your phone, and it will go straight to your uh, gallery. So. Uh, let me show you what else is in here. You got an awesome manual. I can't believe how well this manual is right here. It's pretty thick. So it tells you the controls. We'll go over those in a minute. You got uh, a little Phillips screwdriver and four propellers, spare ones. And this one is cool because you got just the one hand control, the little TX right here, which is awesome. And we're going to go over these buttons here too in a second here. And of course, you got the charger. So with this charger, this USB charger, uh, you can either take the battery out or have the leg unfolded out like this. And then there's a little uh, spot right there. You just push it in and you can plug it in with it still in the quad. So it's up to you. So you can either do it with the battery out. So I'm going to pop the battery out. Show you real quick. Put this little battery out. Here we go. So you can also just plug it in, so you don't have to have the whole uh, little quad with you, and go plug it in back of your computer, uh, smart TV, or your uh, or your little adapter for the wall. So, yeah, I just wanted to show you that real quick here. I want to go into two. Uh, this is really basic, so I'm going to slide this back in, snap it in, and it locks. So we're going to go over the controls a little bit here. Uh, slide this out of the way. And I'm going to kind of go all over it with you on the book. So um, this is your speed rate, this big button up here. So it's got three rates of speed. So I'll go over that in just a second. Um, you got your on and off switch. And then you got uh, right here, uh, this button right here. This is a light control. So you can either have your lights on or you can have them off. So you, you can save battery when it's daytime. Um, you got your emergency stop is the one straight down. And then the one to the to the right right here on the right hand side uh, this one is the calibrate so what you'll do and i'll show you here in a second is you'll long press that until the quad it'll start flashing and once it stops flashing you can let go of the button and it'll calibrate it so i recommend to calibrate it since it's been traveling during shipping um what else do we have here oh we got headless mode too which um i'm not a big headless mode fan so um if i get to that and if I don't, I apologize, but uh, there's headless mode if you'd like. So um, other than that, you have the joystick. And what you do, too, is uh, this will start the motor. So you press the button in, and the motors will start. Press it in again, and it'll shut down. Um, and that will actually uh, automatically land it as well, too. So and like I said, if you have an emergency situation, this is emergency stop. So if it crashes or lands in a tree or something, just press emergency stop and they'll cut the motors off. Um, so anyways, this works a little different. Um, so this, uh, this has a gyro sensor in the controller. So, you know, you move, you move the controller in your hand, you know, this way, the, the quad's going to go that way. You know, you go to the right, it'll go to the right. Forward, it'll go forward and then back, you know, so forth. Uh, what this uh, little uh, thumb button does here is when you lift up on it, it's going to do the alti altitude, and it has altitude hold too. So, um, you know, so that'll bring, I'll bring it up and down, and then you got the yaw. 
this is a yaw, so if you go left or right, it'll yaw the little pocket drum. So, all right, so I'm gonna turn it on and we're gonna try to get this thing calibrated. So, let me go ahead and uh, turn on the, let me turn on the drone itself first. So there's a button right here, it just came on, you can see it flashing. And uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn on the controller and it's just like your basic, just like your basic uh, any quad you have. So you're gonna just go up and down. Okay, just just bound with the with the quadcopter. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and calibrate it by long pressing this. Lights are flashing. Okay, it stopped flashing, so let off the button. So it's calibrated now. All right, so I'm gonna go and show you. This will arm it by pressing this this lever in. It's armed, so it's ready to go. Emergency stop. Shuts it off. Same with this button. This is the this is a land too, so if you press this, it'll cut the barometer, it'll come down as soon as it as soon as it lands, it'll automatically shut off. But if you have it just sitting here, just hit the emergency stop. Okay? So uh, pretty much went over that right now. So um, here's the lights on and off, so you can see. Just one press. You can see the back. Okay. So that's that function there. Um, I don't believe there's any lip on here. I didn't see anything on that. Um, you know, if there is, I'll figure it out later because I'm, we'll make another video of flying it from the, the cell phone controls. Uh, so, all right, let's take this thing for a flight. So stay tuned guys. All right guys, I kind of want to show you this real quick. Um, I'm not going to control it right now um, from the controller. I'll do that another time. I just want to show you the basics. So I'm on the eSheen app, so that way we can use the camera. So um, I went ahead and turned on the Wi-Fi. Uh, the Wi-Fi, I believe, let me look real quick. Wi-Fi is UAV 31AB09 for mine. So I went ahead and connected it. Get out of there. Okay, we're going to press play. Hopefully you guys can see this. We should be hooking up with camera. Yep, there's the camera. So if you want to do controls, then you'd be able to um, get on the settings and go on the controls but we're going to film I started the film and I'm gonna go and put this in my pocket for a minute all right we are going to fly guys here we go arm it by pressing that in and here we go see how well this altitude hold works oh pretty good all right so the control board let me do the different rates all right there's rate, you can't hear that, but there's rate one, and rate two, there's rate three. I'm gonna stay in rate three. Oh yeah, a lot better pitch. Okay, we yaw it back over this way. Forward, right towards me, here we go. Boom, yaw it. There we go, oh, that way, there we go. Not too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad. I'll bring it down a little bit. All right, that's not too bad, guys. I like it. The altitude hold seems to be working pretty good. Yeah, right there, altitude hold. I can't set the controller down because it's a G sensor, so there's forward pitch. I'm gonna circle around. Curve while I'm coming around, there we go. Oh, <laughs> emergency stop. Boom, see? Emergency stop. So there's my first little incident. You know I gotta crash them, guys. There we go. Hey, emergency stop works. Arm it again. Take off. There we go. That's not too bad. I think once you get the hang of it, learning to churn, learning to keep the altitude up, Okay, I'm bring it back over here so I don't get too far. Um, I didn't really see what the range was for this. Um, I tried to kind of read up on it, but I didn't see. I didn't see what the range was, so I apologize for that. So actually, you know, it works pretty good. You know, hopefully the hopefully the camera does some pretty good uh, camera work. We'll see. Back it up a little bit. 
All right. Yeah, not too bad. I'm just kind of scared to use the phone because I always have a bad experience with that. But people who know me and see me with the little, uh, with the other little pocket drone that was just phone controls, you know, you can see I, I wasn't too well at it. But this is very easy to use with this TX. I like it. Come back this way. All right, got some kids going to school, so I got to keep it over in this area. Yeah, not too bad guys. Let me, uh, I'm going to go and land it so you can see the, the landing. Okay, so you just press that button. Here it comes. Alright, it landed and shut off. So, you know, not bad. You know, to tell you the truth, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. It's actually pretty fun. Um, but the, it won't bind. That means the battery's dead. So, well, overall, I really like this thing. And I will go and be back with uh, uh, doing the controls from the the phone so you know so far so good it's, it's recorded Let's see. there we go what's up guys all right so I'm gonna go and show you this on another video and we'll go from there I'm gonna shut off the record all right guys hey thanks for watching and Ishin thank you guys again so much for sending this this is pretty fun you know, the E56, guys, it's, it's not a bad flare. I like it. Um, it's definitely one for the collection. So, all right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, guys. Have a great day. God bless. Peace.